Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up your Xbox controller to your iPhone or your iPad to play with the Delta emulator, which is a, as of now, a Nintendo emulator, sports, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color slash Game Boy, DS, NES, NES, and N64 games as well. So in terms of the Xbox controller support, because there's a bunch of Xbox controllers out there and it, you know, anything Xbox Series X or Series S, is covered with you know with this video you're all good to go with xbox one so xbox one x or one x controllers it's the same controller but you know the ones from that generation it really depends the newer controllers they had bluetooth instead of you know microsoft's you know dongle requirement then you could just use the bluetooth built in so you'll have to find out you know which one you know you have if you need some help doing that just you know comment you know down below and i'll help you figure out which one you have for Xbox 360, you know, you had a look because again, you know, dongles as well. So, you know, as long as you have a Bluetooth controller, this is the Xbox Series controller. And uh, yeah, the name system is terrible. Like Xbox Series controller, you know, that's that's what I'm having to call it. Instead of a PS5 controller or a Switch controller. But yeah, you know, I digress. Let's get this connected. Really simple. You want to open up your settings. You want to go to Bluetooth. Make sure it's on. You need to put this into sync mode. It's really simple. Microsoft does make this part easy. There'll be a button over here that puts you into sync mode. That will make this flash white. So you just gotta keep the press until the light starts flashing. So I'm gonna press it like this so you can see the flashing as well. There you go, it's flashing. The controller will appear in other devices. Click Xbox wireless controller. Once it's fully synced, you'll have this pop up as well. Click pair. Once you're fully synced, the light will go solid, like so. Now you're done. Now I can go to Delta Emulator, go to the settings in the top left. I can go to the controller. So you can choose, you know, set it for controller one, two, three, or four, whichever one you want. Probably going to be controller one. By default, I find if you've got a controller connected, it does, you know, use that as the, you know, the controller type. But if it doesn't, you can just select it right here. You want to click customize controls and in there you can cost you can, can customize the controls you will be able to do this for different emulators so you know you can have it set up for you know a nes different to the way you have it set up for a game Boy advance emulator different to the way you would have it set up for like an n64 emulator and to change the different emulators that you want to set it up for click the emulator name you know in the at the top drop down pops down and you can select it. I'm going to select N64 just because that's the game I'll be testing. And it's simple. So if I click the up button on the emulator, now I can set it. Let's say if I want to set it to uh, what you call RT, right trigger. But it detects it as R2, so it detects it, you know, like, well, I'm pretty sure that's what Nintendo does. Nintendo detect it, I can't remember. But it's, it's more like PlayStation and let me show you one other thing if i press up again and i want to press the left key it wipes the previous mapping of that physical key on the emulator so you can't say okay one physical button on my controller will be mapped to two or more buttons you can't do that so you can't do some sort of situation where it's going to jump up do some other thing as well like a macro that might be supported later on i think that'd be really cool especially on the emulators that don't have that many you know keys like n 65 is a lot but something like game boy advanced doesn't have that many keys so it would be really nice to be able to sign those extra keys to do other stuff and you you know you can still do other stuff i'm gonna just reset it and the other things that you can assign the spare buttons to is quick save quick load and fast forward again to assign it you click one quick save press it quick load boom there we go and that's it, I'll leave fast forward for now. The only other one that's sort of non-game specific and it's emulator is the menu. That by default is set to this menu button. And that's what it you know, picks it up as. And that is just launches that menu up where you can quit the game, you can you know load state, save state, fast forward, a couple of other things as well inside. Now what you do is press save. Once you're done, go to settings. Here you're pretty much done, but you'll see controller opacity. I found that once you launch up the emulator, the actual on-screen controls aren't, you know, don't appear if you have a physical con controller detect I mean, attached. So you don't need to mess with this, but if for some reason the on-screen control is still there, you want that to di disappear, which you probably will, you want to put that opacity to 100 so it's fully transparent. Click 
done. You want to open up your game now. And I know I have a, a, you know, a state that has been saved. This is another thing. I can't control the emulator with the controller. I can only control the game portion as of creating this video. So general rule of thumb, if it's in game, you can control it using the controller. If it's on the emulator side, which this is, what you're seeing right now, you will need to control that using the touchscreen. So I'm going to click load state, load up. Mario. Little part here. Hello. Uh, did it not load my state? I feel like I may have. Am I just? Yeah, I feel like I was saving the state. Yeah, there we go. I can look around. I can move about. Um, that's it. The emulator is working. I can pause it. Press the menu button and the menu appeared again this cannot be used while the controller you need to use the touchscreen so that's it there's nothing more to it than that if you have any questions feel free to let me know in the comments down below let me know what other controllers you would like me to show you how to connect up as well and if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next one take care bye